Race number two, another good race. The three-year-olds go around here and uh, looking forward to having a look at some of the last runs here. We'll catch up with Miss Guiding, also Crown Point and Cape Lewin out of the same race. Battle Emblem's a horse that I'm really keen about and also second Omen. What a debut performance it was behind So Secret. And you caught up with Paul King who'll be riding Miss Guiding. That's right, Marty. I caught up with Paul King and some other runners to keep an eye on in the field are Rich Ken who ran 8 of 13 in their Dayana Stakes last start. Uh, also, Revy J, he's got the blinkers on this week, who runs second last start at Belmont. Uh, Cape Lewin, who we're going to have a look at. Uh, second Omen, we're going to have a look at. Summer Hayes, who runs six of eight. A little bit disappointing when first up the other day. Vane Eco, who's been running good races at Northam. And Violent Vane from the Raquel Mills stables. OK, the first horse we will have a look at, though, was Miss Guiding. She's absolutely flying for the George Daly stable. Could have started her on Wednesday. Had a couple of races picked out for her as well on Saturday. But this is the race he's chosen. And uh, there she is, uh, getting up towards the leaders at the top of the lane. Finishes the race off very strongly in those uh, George Daly colours. Jez Reel, Silent Wishes in a strung out affair. Then Sea of Money, third from last on the inside of Falak Blues and Bindi Dane. 550 to go though, and Sweet Records gone lickety split there in front. Tries to steady down, Sweet Record coming onto the turn, leading nearly three lengths. Bobby Jean misguiding a length away third. Arnie's girl back on the inside, then came Cafe Sharsha, his violet vein starting to run on. They're followed by Russian Playmate. Coiled up and ready to go at the 200 sweet record, tackled and headed off by misguiding Russian playmate Violet Vane. But it's misguiding at the 100 metres in front. Russian playmate trying to gun her down, but misguiding's going to comfortably hold her at bay. And misguiding wins it by a length and a half on Russian playmate. Third, give it to Cafe Shasha. I caught up with Paul King during the week, and this is what Paul told us about misguiding's chances. If you're on the outside barrier, it'll take a good ride from there, Paul. Yeah, well, it's been two good rides on the last two rides, so uh, you're going for the hat trick, I think, uh, Dion. Um, yeah, she's going terrific. Uh, no complaints the way she's going. Obviously, uh, George had her in two races for today, and um, he elected to run in the 14 and not the 12. Um, you know, obviously, she went in the Phillies and Mare. She's going to get uh, a fair bit more weight for winning it, so uh, we thought this race would be sort of right up her alley. Now, let's go back to the Belmont midweeks and have a look at the past run of Crown Point and also Cape Lewin. Crown Point is back four from last, one off the fence with the white cap. And Cape Lewin is the grey horse, back running last in the Perth Racing's club colours with the gold cap. Prince of Promise who was able to drop across and he's now one off the fence, a length and a half to Cagey Lady. Over on the inside, then a length away is Mikarani being followed by Crown Point. Then the stable mate Cape Lewin and Fragancia. She's taking off now and she's about to set out after the leaders. On the turn at the 400 though, the Candu Cod wheels the bend in front of Reverend Lovejoy. Two lengths Danish currency straightened up under the whip. Mikarani's going for a run back on the inside of them but isn't getting a lot of room. Cagey Lady's running on Fragancia. Gancy is taking a day to hit top gear. Crown Point makes up ground. KG Lady reaches the lead. Here comes Fragancy. And now, though, it's Fragancy. She's sprouting wings with Crown Point. Crown Point, Fragancy. KG Lady hit it together. Close. KG Lady, Fragancy. I think it's mainly between them. Fragancy, KG Lady, Crown Point split them. Well, Bob Peters is having a wonderful run at the moment. And Battle Emblem is one of these horses who's going to win a lot of races for him over the next few years. We saw him uh, win at his second run at Northam and then last start was an eye-catching performance. He's back there in Bob's colours of the pink and the white and watching Motorhome late in the fastest section of the race to run third. Didn't see that, but Campo said none of that. I'm going to go to the top. So Campo de Grano headed off Valiance and Casper Cowboy third. They're a length and a half to the favourite Centrum, being followed then on the outside by Battle Emblem, who's shading Leap Motif. Campo de Grano coming along to the 500, leading the way clearly. The break is a length and a half on Valiance, and then Casper Cowboy straightening up third. Tracking him around the bend is Centrum. So they swing and straighten at the 300, and Campo de Grano already the gauge reading empty. He's gone. Casper Cowboy. Join him. Centrum now quickly draws alongside of Casper Cowboy. Casper Cowboy, though, fights back. Centrum, Pike hard at work, can't get to him. Casper Cowboy's holding Centrum, and Casper Cowboy was too good. Casper Cowboy held out the favourite Centrum. Grabbing third on the outside was Battle Emblem. Now, check out the debut of 
second omen, the three-year-old. He's back running about third from last in the clear with the red cap. He's got there quite comfortably. All Furies rider hands up now. He eases to second, three quarters. So secret third, a length and a half to Dance Works, racing over on the outside of Buster's Icon. Then nearly two lengths away. Second Omen Marker's getting to work here on Silent Hero back. Second last when they turn the bend and City Hopper brings up the tail of the field. They balance timely rain in front. So secret is doing it ever so easily and coming to the 300. He heads off timely rain. All Fury Dance Works followed then by Buster. Icon and then second omen 150 to go. So secret skips well clear. Second omen giving chase. So secret live and up close to home. Second omen charging late, but so secret too strong. So secret beat home. Second omen. I caught up with the rider Jess Hill during the week, and this is what she had to say about second omen's chances. It was a terrific one. Uh, very green still, but room for improvement. Up to 1400 this start. The step to 12 to 14 should suit. Uh, definitely. I uh, should be able to travel and finish it off a lot stronger. Beautiful. So we should have a winner with Second Omen on Saturday? You would think so, and I hope so. Well, Dion, she sounded very confident about the chances there of Second Omen, and why not? We'd seen her at the trials, Second Omen led and bolted in a trial, but that debut run was an absolute knockout performance. It was. It was a great run. Jess gave me a very good report. She seems very confident. Um, Second Omen's been up there and led at the trials and he got right back, well she got right back rather the other day. So it could be very versatile young filly and hopefully we can get a, another good run from her today. Mm, wonderful race this. Uh, difficult to weigh all the different form lines up. I wanted to get your opinion about those two horses trained by Vernon Brockman, Crown Point and Cape Lewin. Speaking with a couple of the owners after the race, initially they were a bit disappointed with Cape Lewin's effort. But if you have a look at the run, held up, closed late. Crown Point also rocketed home. So um, where do you fit them in the whole scheme of things against, say, horses like Battle Emblem and Second Omen, who are young, improving horses, and also Miss Guiding, who we've seen a fair bit of and who's in, in terrific form herself at the moment? That's right. Miss Guiding does have to come up against the outside barrier, mm -hmm. and I know she likes to position up there running fourth, fifth, so it's going to take a very good ride from Paul King to uh, get Miss Guiding into the money here today. Cape Lewin and also... Uh, Crown, Point. <laughs> Crown Point from the uh, Vern Brockman stables have both had a fair few runs now so they've been going around it's just whether how many good runs they've got left underneath them. Yeah that's a, f a fair point as well. Selections on race number two and I'm going with five battle emblem I just think he's something special this horse uh, he wasn't suited at a thousand metres behind Casper Cowboy and Centrum that's class form and he was doing his best work late. Second omen was behind so secret that is also tip-top form and one misguiding. You can't take anything away from her. She's in career best at the moment. Five, seven, one in race two. Now, number five, Battle Emblem, also for me to win. Paul Harvey takes them out this week. He was back from suspension on Wednesday and couldn't get a winner over the line. So he'll be desperate and eager to get one up on Saturday. And I think he'll be able to do it with Battle Emblem, number five. Uh, number seven, second omen to run second. Great run the other day on debut. And if Second Omen improves on that run at all, she'll be very hard to beat here. And for third, number six, Cape Lewin, off the strength of that midweek performance.